No, 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 no. Why didn't I save? Why didn't I save the video? No! I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because this is perfect. What's up, everybody? I'm Andy Duke. This is the first time you're ever seeing my videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting videos about this and other tips and tricks about film and photography. So if that's what you're into, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Like this video if it helps you. So, how many of you caught yourself in a situation like mine where I worked on a video for 40 minutes and never saved? And then Adobe decides to lock up whenever I go to export. How many of you been there? Raise your hand. Yeah. The video I posted this morning, that happened to me. So here's how you fix that issue right there. So what you're going to do after Adobe kicks you out, you're going to log back in and you're going to see that the last 40 minutes of edits are gone. At that point, you panic. It's going to happen. But take a deep breath. I'm going to walk you through this and show you exactly how to find exactly where the auto save for Adobe is at. Most of them are programmed to do about every 10 minutes. So you're only going to lose about 10 minutes rather than 40 minutes worth of editing. So what you do first is you're going to log in and you're going to see all your files that are gone. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here, click file. You're going to go down to project settings. Then you're going to go to scratch disk. You're going to hit that. This icon is going to pop up in the middle of your screen right and it's going to have a whole bunch of stuff and it's going to tell you where the path of all the saving and blah blah blahs are going to be but the one you need right now so you can stop freaking out is going to be project auto save and right below that it says path so what you're going to do whenever this icon pops up is you're going to go over here and you're going to look up project auto save and whenever you see project auto save it'll have a line underneath it that says path and whatever that path says is where your files have been auto-saved to go. So automatically all your files are going to be put into that folder. And then you just go in and you're going to find that project. And whenever you find that project, it's going to have a couple of different auto-saves from that. You're going to try to find the one that was the most recent. And whenever you find that one that has the most recent date or time on it, double click on that and there is your project file. Hey, if this helped you out, and anyway, please be sure to go down and subscribe to the channel. We're always posting tips, tricks, tutorials, different things like that. We'll even be doing some product reviews here pretty soon. So if this helped you out, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I plan on doing many more videos like this in the future. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully you found all your files. All right, see y'all later.